Yo, what's going on, guys? This is Easy Tech Two Thirty One here, back again with another video. And today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make your Android device look like iOS Seven. So yes, this is another uh, highly, highly requested video. Um, as you may recall, I did post a video. Uh, called making Android look like iOS and that was on my white Galaxy S3 uh, but this is iOS 7 a completely new operating system um, and this is pretty funny how I have what looks like iOS 7 on a Samsung device um, but you know you guys wanted it so here's the video um, let me go ahead and show you guys the lock screen first this is called fake uh, this is fake iOS lock screen 7 uh, actually no I wrote that wrong it's fake iOS 7 lock screen my bad um, uh, we do have probably one of the best uh, lock screen applications for iOS in terms of performance. Um, you know, it's smoother than a lot of the other ones out there. A lot of the other ones out there have uh, lag when you're trying to go to your passcode. Um, but this one does have the camera function where you can swipe up from the bottom and then you can get to your camera. It does kind of tease you with that little uh, camera button. I think that is actually pretty cool. Uh, so let's go ahead and go back to the lock screen. Let's go back here and we can unlock the device by swiping and enter our passcode and there we go we got the nice fly-in animation like that so the launcher I am using is actually iLauncher unfortunately it is not on the Google Play Store anymore I could not find it um, uh, you may be able to find it just type in iLauncher uh, but it was it was no longer there uh, so you can sideload this uh, just search for the APK on google.com but if you don't want to do that there's also SBR uh, is it SBR or SBIR launcher I'm just gonna say SBR launcher uh, iOS 7 there's a free version as well as a paid version which actually goes for eight dollars uh, so you know buy what you want you know I would just probably just stick with free <laughs> so this is iLauncher it's got the best functionality although SBR launcher does have the uh, slide down uh, you know, if you slide down, you know, it would give you the search function, but that, that is not present in iLauncher, unfortunately. Um, so, uh, in iLauncher, you got your folders, just like you do in iOS 7. Um, you know, you just go in our folders here. There you go, you got our games, and then we got our Google applications here. So, the folders work just like they do in iOS 7. Uh, and to make a folder, uh, you just do exactly what you do in iOS 7. Long press, it gives you a little wiggle animation there. And then you can drag them wherever you want. Um, oh yeah, you just you tap on an on a, on an icon when it's when they're shaking, and then you can change the icon. You can change the title of the icon, uh, set the app as. And then you can also hide the application, which is actually a really good function. So to make an uh, to make a folder, you long press and you hold it, and then you drag it on top of another icon to make a folder. And to you rename the folder here. The keyboard I'm using here is TouchPal X keyboard with a simple theme. So you can go ahead and download TouchPal X keyboard on the Google Play Store for free. And then you'll uh, you can also download this uh, simple. It's actually called Simple Theme for the uh, for the keyboard application. So it it doesn't really look like iOS, uh, but you know it's it's nice and white and uh, very clean. Uh, so let's go ahead and name this folder. Um, let's go ahead and name it that just for fun and then press back and now we have a folder there um, there you go we have a, an application with a whole bunch of iOS 7 ringtones I'm not sure if these are unique to iOS 7 so I, I'm not sure if these are the actual ones on iOS 7 for those of you that do have iOS 7 and you're watching this video for whatever reason then go ahead and you know tell me in the comments if these are the actual iOS 7 uh, ringtones so they're hi they're high quality they're not muffled or anything. They're pretty good, actually. Um, you can hit the uh, the tab here, and you can set it as a no your notification sound, your ringtone, set as an alarm, and set as a ringtone for a certain contact, which is pretty cool. So that's that. Um, also, I have iOS 7 live wallpaper going on in the background. As you can see, it's, it's moving because it's a live wallpaper. So if you want to download that as well, uh, it is also free on the Google Play Store. I do have the notification... Uh, panel here. Um, this is called iNoti uh, or iNoti. It's uh, this is not free. I believe it's like two dollars on the Google Play, Google Play Store. Um, but you have um, this is actually an older version of iNoti. I, I will actually tell you guys that right now. This is an older version because I could not get the latest version to run 
uh, with um, Iron Launcher. It, they just couldn't run together. Uh, I know they would just quit on me every time, so I had to install an earlier version of it, and that's why there are only two tabs as opposed to three. There's supposed to be three here, um, but there, there are only one. Um, but it, it works okay. It's pretty good. But that's iNoti for the notification. And also for the bottom here, we also have, uh, this is called, what is this called? I don't remember what this is called. This, oh, the control center. <laughs> it's called the control center. Uh, you can choose from like four different control centers on the Google Play Store. But I have a little weather thing going on there, which is pretty cool. And I tapped on it to go to Yahoo Weather. I didn't want to do that. Go back home. Go back home. Remind me later, please. All right there, but that 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 flying animation is actually pretty slick. I like that. Um, but let's go before I before I end uh, the video here. We can go into the preference here, uh, preferences here, and we can change the wallpaper. We can change uh, logos. We can turn it into iPad mode. Uh, speaking of iPad mode, I have something to show you in a bit. Uh, we can turn on transition animations, app management, so we can restore all the hidden apps that we have here. These are all the hidden apps, you know, all the miscellaneous ones you don't want showing up. I'm going to add a shortcut if you'd like. Uh, so that's pretty much it. Uh, just download these apps and you will get the function or what looks like iOS 7. Uh, one more thing, uh, a couple more things actually. This is the music player I have here. This is Player Pro. You can get this on the Google Play Store for maybe about $3. I believe it was $3. And then you can get the iOS 7 theme for it. And you can get kind of what looks like iOS 7 uh, music player. I actually haven't seen it um, in person so I wouldn't really know if it's accurate. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the sound due to copyrights and we'll play a song here and then you can get kind of what looks like iOS 7 I guess um, with the, like the, the pink the light pink accents there which is pretty cool you can uh, rate your song just pretty cool three stars of course George Winston Linus and Lucy you gotta rate that full five stars um, so that's that and let me go and show you something else real quick here I have iLauncher running on my Nexus 7 and this is tablet mode so this is what tablet mode looks like or iPad mode rather and uh, this is actually not that bad um, I you know I could see this you know running on maybe a larger tablet like a Nexus 10 or any of the Samsung tablets um, because we know that there are like 10,000 of those tablets uh, so this this is actually pretty cool again the animations are all there um, go ahead and go into the clock or something there's the animation and we go back home they all fly in, so that that's actually pretty cool. Um, I do have the uh, control center, but it doesn't really want to work for me right now. So yeah, that that's what the iPad mode looks like, and this is on the tablet here. You can also put it back to the phone mode. Uh, but if you have like a Nexus 7 and you want the iPad Mini look, then I guess you know you would do this. But so that's pretty much it, guys. Um, you know, and this this will actually work for someone who wants something very simple uh, and something that still looks really good. Um, personally, if you want simple, I would go with, uh, Windows, like I just showed you. I would probably go with Windows 8, or Windows Phone 8, uh, you know, because of the live tiles and whatnot. You can get the galleries going on there, which is pretty cool. Uh, but if you want something, you know, it looks kind of like an iPhone, but on a bigger screen, then, you know, definitely check this, uh, iLauncher out. It, it, it works pretty well. And, uh, yeah, so I, I would recommend this maybe, uh, if you wanted something, you know, simple on your Android device. You don't want to have to deal with all the widgets and the app drawer and all that stuff. And you have, you know, simplicity at your fingertips. So, uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, but like I said, you know what? No, I'm not going to even say it. I'm not going to say it. Uh, this is a, an iOS video. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, subscribe for more videos like this. And uh, follow me on Twitter at EASport23. Like and favorite if you enjoyed the video. And I will catch you guys later. Peace.